Hi guys, I'm Yana and we're watching Expand. Episodes 2 of season 2. Yeah. What we know where we left off is, I mean, our guys are still going towards what? What? We haven't found out anything about where, well, where, like the where they're going. Exactly. We're on our way. Amos and uh, Miller have kind of worked through their yeah. issue. And now I guess we can all be one big happy family. On the side, on the front of Earth, we have the Queen, who knows that she's going to become a scapegoat. Uh, but I mean, she's not going to let that happen. She's playing her own game. Um, and she has her own spy now. Ah, uh, yeah. I like the two of them. If yeah. they're going to continue to work together, have a I relationship. I think so. And all of that, I, I think I would love that. We also got introduced to some new characters from Mars. I, I yeah. want to see if we see them now. I, I um, definitely expect that we will, honestly. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, that's I would like if our guys somehow collided with them. It would be interesting. In my I mind. mean, honestly, they might. I don't, I don't know. know how Mars is going to feel about us being on Don and Jerm, being the only ones who are left alive. I, we, I do not know with how the they feel about, yeah, With I the fucking martianship. I don't know if that's, that doesn't seem nice, you know? Uh, oh, and also Amos. Amos, not Amos. James and Naomi Got have together. gotten together. Yeah. Nice. That's it. That's where it left off. I'm very excited for this episode. I, 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 oh, I love... <laughs> our reaction was interesting. <laughs> to what? <laughs> to that scene. What, what was it? It was like we were, I don't know, intruding. Uh, we were literally like this. <laughs> well, I was intruding. <laughs> there, it was a very intimate scene. I was like, guys, I'm here. <laughs> uh, they're cute. They're yeah, cute. Yeah, I love I uh, Okay, let's watch. Mars destroyed an abandoned and expendable base. A warning for us to stop shadowing their vessels. CB Station was a joint facility run by an Earthquark. The only intel saying it was abandoned came from Mars, and now two thirds of their fleet is heading for Earth. They are vital to their terraforming efforts. If we threaten to shut them down. train embargo! No, what we need to do is order the Nathan Hill to take out the Sirocco now. What did she say? Sir, if I may, the deep radar station on Deimos is mostly automated, minimal personnel. Casualties will be light. He wants to attack a Martian moon. It's a declaration of war. No, it's a warning. Mm -hmm. It's a goddamn serious one, but that's the point. It shows that we're willing to strike at the heart of their territory. I will not support this escalation. Are you saying you won't carry out a lawfully given order? Hmm. I'll step down the street, Commander. No. I mean, good for you. Not good for us. Not good for the rest of the like Honestly, world losing like, someone like that. Honestly, because he was... Yeah. But it didn't see. She sent him the moon? Mm -hmm. Whatever she has up her sleeves, I completely have full faith in her. Me too. Oh, well, this is the Martian. Yeah. Honestly, so happy. I'm... Hopefully we're gonna continue with them. Bye, go. Maybe. Oh, see, they're coming to him. That's what I'm saying. Makes sense. I mean, would make sense. We'll start with conversation. You're gonna want to hear this story. What story is that? Maybe it's the one about why the rock I sent you to exploded into a nuclear fireball. <laughs> or what happened to the OPA operative I tasked you to find. Or maybe it's the story of where the hell you've been since then. Without one goddamn word of communication back to me. We were on Eros. We barely got out alive. And the only reason we're here now is to see if you want to do something about it. An alien life form? According to the Jimmong, we discovered it was Phoebe. Whoever unleashed it on Eros dosed everyone with radiation and spread it faster. They set up cameras and sensors and fans. Mm -hmm. Eros is an experiment. I, uh, horrible. Fucking hate him. Dead, they're dying, they're being studied like bugs under a microscope. First thing we have to get past is this. A stealth ship, like the ones they used to kill the Donnage. Well, we have a gunship of our own. Hey, Miss, I think we should check in on them once they get settled. You do that, you know? They're, they're rock hoppers, right? They don't have the skills for this place. They shouldn't they get stuck in group housing. <laughs> it's cute, right? Like. Yeah, that'd be a real shame. <laughs> what was we say? What was we say by accident? We should have saved more. We saved us. Crew comes first. If we would have back for strays, we'd end up dead like them. We should have at least tried. We could have filled the roster with people, but we did. What does that say about us? We could talk all day long. Hey, what's left? Look out for yourself. 
and mind their own business, trying to survive. Me doing nothing is just as bad as doing the wrong thing. Being a bystander. I mean, what kind of people are we <laughs> that we only help? <laughs> I mean, he is right. He is cute. He is lovely. Uh, I'm scared shitless. Feeling guilty as hell. Please, God, stop trying to take credit for every damn thing that's wrong in the universe. I'm <laughs> talking about all of you being caught up in this. Alex wants to do something. Amos doesn't do anything he doesn't want to. Mm -hmm. And if you think I'm going along just because of you. You never want to be on the same team as Fred Johnson or be tangled up. Yes, but this is different now. Remember some bad people once. Stupid kids with OPA tests and big ideas. Innocent people die. Well, I said never again. But this time it's different. Are you scared? I'm angry. Do you think the others have a sense of what's going on with us? You mean Amos in particular? <laughs> Is he afraid of Amos? He's afraid of Amos. You know, I was never clear about how you two. Well, I asked if you were a couple months. What did he say? He said he'd be okay throwing me into space without my helmet, but you wouldn't like it. Sounds like Amos. It's like a brother. Look out for each other. You sure he's clear on that? Are you sure? You did hear the part about him throwing you off the ship. Right? <laughs> Great. Because I'm really liking us not threatening to kill each other anymore. <laughs> I need 50 people with combat experience. They'll get top hazard pay and first dibs on the new equipment contracts. You're just an other player, Belter. We don't need you giving us orders, and we don't need you picking our target. Maybe it's time. Real Belter took what should be ours. Like Anderson Dawes on series. Maybe now. Maybe now. Our time. more about the thing that he has done to the people on that station. That's like my black mark against him. Everything else, I would really like him. Listen, I hope you understand if I ask you to sit this one out. Close quarters battle could be kind of angry. <laughs> what the hell use would I ever be on a ship? I feel like there's some use for him. <laughs> Going down on the assault team. Have you seen the bridging pod? The beer can taped to a rocket. You're not gonna like the ride. The Fred's trying to land 50 pissed off Peltos and seven different OPA factions on that station. I mean, somebody's gotta keep these idiots from shooting each other. I'm gonna clean out my cabin. Leave it, Paul. Hmm. We'll be waiting for you when you get back. <laughs> are you gonna, are you gonna uh, tell a Amos in this episode? What, that they're together? That would be the funniest conversation. <laughs> I wish they told it. I just wish... I wish James goes to him and tells him. I would die laughing. Dead eyes and a poison tongue. 
and the solar system is in tatters because of people like you and Aaron Wright. Despite your delusions to the contrary, you, Madame Undersecretary, may be the worst person I have ever met. That's where you're wrong. Mm. Now why don't you grow up there and tell me why you're here? Tell me about Fredras. Oh. When he joined the OPA and everyone lined up to stone him, you stayed quite wide. There was plenty said about him. I understand it's hard to watch a war here. You don't understand him. shit about Fred Johnson. Enlighten me. Oh, then you want the real story? Yes, I would. Me too. Mm hmm. The doctors who seized control of Anderson Station were trying to negotiate for days. You and in command was jamming their comms. But when the Belters finally gave up, Colonel Johnson wasn't told that they'd surrendered. Mm -hmm. If he knew, he would have never called that strike mm -hmm. you. Okay. Why wasn't he told? Because the powers that be wanted to send a message to the belt. Defy us, we wipe you out. Message sent. And Fred Johnson switched sides. Why? As a revenge against the Earth? The UN pinned a medal on his chest for Anderson Station. He was a hero of the Earth and despised everywhere else, all based on a lie. But you know what? He never said a word. Didn't even try to clear his name. But I know that he's an honorable man who held on to his soul, and that is a tough thing to do in this line of work. Good enough for me. Now I can, like, now I can like him without feeling bad about it. Oh my god, he didn't know. I will go and destroy them all. I, if I was Fred, I will fucking go and destroy them all. I need you to do something for me. I <laughs> love them. I'm sure I'm going to love it. <laughs> he might be funny. Fred. Oh my god, there's going to be so much. Guys. <laughs> oh, we're uh, completely uh, reasons. You know. The is completely hidden in our radar Your team ready. It's getting to be that time. Oh, oh my god, we're like doing this now. Fuck. I don't know, I wasn't prepared for this now. <laughs> Alex, well, Alex, let's go, boy. You are doing the let's go. Biggest job right now. Uh, question: What's the go signal for the uh, for the assault? That will explode and turn into the door. Good hunting. Good hunting. Ten day my chest. Good. <laughs> what the fuck did you guys do yourself Stay into? From the aqua. Aqua. What you doing here? It's a bit. Rossinante is ready to roll. <laughs> <laughs> One way to put it. Girl. I thought I was done with all this. Sending people to their deaths. Before or after you space the black sky guy. Hmm. Everybody here is a volunteer. Hmm. I was the old trick. Get them to believe that it was their own idea. Hmm. Last time I saw you, you were, you were stealing sewer. Oh, that's the one? Briggs. Wouldn't have if I knew they were hanging out the script. But you used to not break star helix. You look like you see your own ghost. Oh my god. Just... Oh, he's a good face. Ah! <laughs> what kind of pants are you, Papa? My Uncle Mattel had his rock Papa. Oh. You take me along sometime. I don't care. My Uncle, Uncle Mattel. Oh, no. He died fighting in us. He put me up here like first because he had love for me. Now I fight like he did. You're still talking. If another belt and ship don't see the blasting coming, I'll be on the floor. All these guys, was... bonus time for me, Sasaki. Interrupt! <laughs> he was loving this. This is his environment. Are we gonna be still the only ones left alive? Got shot. Oh my god. That was fucking too close, girl. Few seconds. <laughs> Few seconds. <laughs> Oh. 
the hell was that? Sorry, partner, that was us getting the rat kicked. God damn it, he's a pusser! You're making it easy for him. Is that like 25 people dead? No, no, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good at all. <laughs> this looks like game. <laughs> Uh, I mean, we only lost 25 people. <laughs> is that the end? Is 25 I people in the end? Oh, this is the worst, worst thing that... No, half of them are gonna die as well. I'm just afraid of this. Is this gonna be like... Uh, that, that, that's not... That's what I expected. Yeah. Honestly, I expected a fucking yeah, yeah, bomb. Too, and I was like... Too. If Josh oh. wasn't here, I was. I no, would no, be no. Like, are we shooting? No, no, no. What happened? You okay? I thought he was shot directly in the head. I'm still afraid for you, boy. What, what do you mean, gel round? What? Alex, which pod was Miller on? I'm on it. Aww. Is this not. I don't like the silence. Silence? Yeah. There's nothing here. I don't like that. Alright, everybody on the floor. Show me some Okay. What is happening? I legitimately don't know what's happening with them. Are those not like See, they're, uh, they're not. I don't think they're oh, aware. What the fuck? Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck off. Put that back in. Put that back in. Oh my god, stop shooting, we need information! Oh my god. Honestly, I hate so many people just die in this show constantly. Fuck. That's like, but what? That's not, what? Is in the fucking Matrix? Turn it off, dirt bag. Now's the time for all good men to come to need in a species. Oh yeah, that's there's it. a guy. Well, science, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Can help us make a vaccine? No, that goes against everything we're trying to accomplish. You infected station full. Okay, of explain this. Come on. Save us all. How? What does that mean? You're fucking insane. You're gonna have to be a hell of a lot more specific yeah. than that. We made a discovery on Phoebe. Okay. Extra solar life form. Okay. An organism that can repurpose other life forms and use them. Into what? That's what we're trying to find out. In a controlled, isolated environment that could be sterilized if it gets out of hand. Could have fed it and That doesn't mean anything is saving us. What the fuck is wrong with you? From what you're not. The cosmic vent, a bacteria, a proton molecule, is proof that we're not alone in the universe. And? And I'll take it out of the limitations that. To save us all, who? Bubbles of rock and air. If we master it, we can apply it. What the fuck is wrong with you? Become our own cots. Imagine human beings able to live in hard vacuum without a suit or under the crushing atmosphere of a gas. And that's worth killing a hundred thousand people for. Travel to the stars. Have you heard of Genghis Khan? He built one of the greatest empires in human history. Mm. Killed or displaced a 
quarter of the entire population on Earth during his conquests. Today, that's the equivalent of 10 billion people. Eris is hardly a rounding error by comparison. And that justifies all this. Of course it does. The front molecule wasn't sent He's going back. This is what I expected. People. Honestly, this is exactly what I fucking expected. It was to hijack life on our planet for its own ends. You can't save Eros. He's moving back. All you do now is waste the data and ensure that every man, woman, and child on that rock die for nothing. The data will erase itself if anyone other than me tries to decrypt it. Without this work, humanity will be left unarmed, ignorant, vulnerable to an enemy who has already fired the first shot. You, you literally don't know anything. I don't care. Control's the project. So long as I can get back to my work. With no restrictions. So we have an understanding. Something's gonna happen. Oh, are we gonna uh, kill him? Please don't. You're gonna need complete access okay, to Okay, thank the fuck. I was like, why? As well as the names of everyone responsible for setting this in motion. Okay. I was just waiting. What the fuck? Honestly, so what the fuck? So good. We're even starting with this oh, episode. Oh, what a great episode. What a great episode. <laughs> Honestly, I thought we were better, that it's one of the better ones. Well, we have found out finally. Enough for me to be like satisfied with what, what was happening. <laughs> like, I was like, okay, it makes sense now. I get it now. I mean, we just like started with the ending. I mean, that was like the most explosive part, right? I was just waiting. I was literally just waiting for that guy to be shot. Okay, well, first, like, the guy, um, when they have encountered them, so everyone, the, all the scientists were, I guess, collecting data about the, um, the, how do they call it, solar, I don't know what they call it, but, like, the blue thing. And <laughs> I, like, I, I literally don't know, I'm calling it the blue thing. Yeah, but it's funny, like, like solar, they call it some scientific, like... Extra solar <laughs> object, I don't know, like, thing. from deep fucking space, you know, the thing that came from deep fucking space, blue. It's blue. Uh, honestly, yeah, everything they said made perfect sense. Like, of course, it's not something they created, you know? It said the blue thing can take, like, um, take li life forms or something. Not yeah, like life take forms, life forms, yeah, but like somehow can... evolve them, let's say. Basically, that That's what they wanted to basically achieve what, with that. Yeah, yeah. Basically, what they wanted it uh, to achieve is to get rid of the obstacles like for us to be able to basically not be confined by i don't know gravity or whatever he wants to become gods basically yeah. i mean they want to uh, for people people they want for earthers <laughs> uh to become even more powerful he wants people to not be confined by even the solar system or anything like that and so you know he thinks that sacrificing a hundred thousand belters is the right thing to do he's like it's a marginal error in comparison to like genghis khan how fucking heartless could you possibly be to just like look at uh, look at those hundreds of thousands of people as just statistics i just yeah everything uh, he said it was what a fucking monster uh, heartless uh, honestly it, i mean we talked about this this is what we what we expected yeah. i didn't really expect to uh find out anything that it can actually save anybody yeah. People on Earth, at least not what wrong, what we've seen, and are not dying from anything. Like, they don't need they, saving. They don't need saving. They're just this greedy. Is just, exactly. It comes back to what yeah. was said in the in the beginning of season one. I want to say about how Earthers, you know, exactly. see blue skies. They have sea, and they see the blue skies, and they want more beyond yeah. it. And now, like even when they have like let's say most control of the space yeah. they still want more it's not yeah. enough they're, they're doing that on the, the backs on the, of exactly, belters exactly on the backs of people who are much less fortunate than them and josh said like why didn't you try it on bacteria yeah, and yeah. he's like i don't, I don't care, care about, about the, bacteria. the evolution of bacteria yeah i want to see how it's gonna affect human beings yeah. and of course it's 
on belters. Yeah, and it's research. nothing to him. And it was nothing, absolutely okay? nothing to him. Yeah, that's why. That's why it's in my opinion completely understandable why Josh would uh, shoot him. Mm. Uh, in my mind, no, absolutely. Was, I was literally just waiting. In my <laughs> mind, he it is. He was dangerous. Mm-hmm. Honestly, everything he said was fucking dangerous, in my honest like opinion. Mm. Especially a person with that type of a mindset exactly. who can talk about the murder of a exactly. hundred thousand people exactly. so who could coldly. Not fucking care about belters. Yeah. yeah. And people in general, but like belters, especially because they are the ones who suffered from this. Yeah. Then, uh, like, I thought he was gonna kill them, and then Fred said, uh, "Okay, but we control everything." Something like that. You give that. Well, he us. said, that "I need information about." about it. I mean, everything. Fred wanted every name who was involved in this, so that he could, you know, make them all yeah. pay yeah. for this, uh, which I thought was, you know, yeah. good. And I, yeah. I wanted those names. Like, I wanted them to know everyone who was involved don't worry uh, queen is gonna take care of it the queen is gonna take queen care of that like i i, I did want that time. information like i did want that information but at the same time we um, know we know that yeah, yeah. we have that information well we're, we're gonna get to it is it gonna slow us down now i guess uh but uh i that human does not deserve the air he breathes so miller doing that I love that for his character. It shows how far he has come from like season, the beginning of season one, um, to now. Like when he didn't care about basically anything but himself. Like he yeah, could not care about... less about like the struggles of Belters and like how he lives. Yeah. And now even in this episode, like you see him, you see him like talking to that kid, uh, who is a Belter, you know, whose uncle died and everything. And like he really, uh, he has really started to care about uh, for his people. And then, like, listening to this person, this person from Earth, talking about these people being a marginal error in the grand scheme of things. Um, And just, like, you know, we're going to become free. It's going to save us all. It's going to save Earthers on the back of Belters. Yeah, we talk a lot about character development, and Mm. I don't think we have mentioned enough uh, how much has, let's say, Julie Case Mm. influenced Miller from the Mm -hmm. beginning. I mean, I don't know what exactly was the reason why he connected so much to that case, but like he did find a purpose because when we met Miller, he was completely just like he took bribes. He uh, honestly, he did not care that much about anything. Like yeah. uh, when he found out when I mean, he wasn't heartless. We had scenes when he found yeah. the guys who were stealing water from the pipes and stuff like that on belt. I mean, he didn't. And when he reacted to, to the guy who was like po- not. N- He's not cleaning, he's not keeping the, like, whatever for the yeah, air filters yeah, clean yeah. or whatever. And he saw that that child that was, like, sick and so now, you know, he threw that guy even though he took a bribe from him, you yeah. know. He never was heartless. He was never um, heartless, but, like, he just lived how he used to. I think he know? just, you know, he suc- succumbed to his environment yeah. of, like, let's say it being hopeless. Like, that's yeah. how Belters yeah. live, that's how they are. And so, yeah. like, he just he just accepted that and, and didn't try to, in any way, let's say, change, change it or influence yeah. it. And then, you know, he, he found the Julie, Julie case and, and the Julie really who was, like, trying him. to... She's from Earth. He's Earth and, like, yeah. she was, and she she was Earth, trying yeah. to help the Belters. And I think that had a really mm. big impact on yeah. him, even though, like, he has never met her. But, like, throughout that whole process of him um, following in her footsteps, like, he really uh, started caring uh, about the Belters. And so, of course, when this guy is speaking so coldly about the Belters dying for this cause that is not not any type of a fucking worthy cause i mean i, I would struggle to say anything is a worthy cause for honestly like, this i people love to die. Uh, no i love i just love that scene when that guy was talking mm-hmm. i love it because i could understand his point of view mm-hmm. uh although i don't agree with anything mm-hmm. i don't i don't i don't really think that anything he's saying is right and mm-hmm. anything like those people are worth this word sacrifice whatever the words uh, but like I could, I could see, I could understand, uh, like uh, his point of view, and I love, love, when love to understand the yeah. negative point yeah, of view. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, it the makes guys, um, you know? it makes complete sense because they did say like this was the blue thing, <laughs> uh, <laughs> was like the Earth was its target, right? So like they took that as an attack. Let's say yeah. like there's extraterrestrial beings who are who could potentially be a danger to us. And so we have to make sure that mm-hmm. we are um, protected, you know? Yeah. So, like, of course, that makes sense to everyone. Yeah. Just That would make sense exactly if they did not sacrifice 10 uh, 
a uh, hundred thousand um, yeah. belters yeah. like this. And I even especially, you that. don't know anything. Exactly. Like that thing just you, fucking appeared. Exactly. Like you don't know if it was intentional, if it was not. When even it if, like when it honestly, like how long it has traveled to you, you know yeah. nothing. Even and if it yet, was intentional, I don't think uh, you you should decide like of course, of like course. Uh, hundred thousand welters yeah. are. Yeah, but that just goes to show how much I don't care about exactly. these people. Like you don't know anything about the thing that was sent, and yet you're just like, oh well, let's find yeah. out yeah. by yeah. sacrificing these people. Yeah, that's you're just honestly, awful fucking that human. That scene was uh, perfect. I love that. And honestly, it's so sad we can't remember. Oh, me too. The next episode. Oh no, but I love, I love, love, love again from Ella. I <laughs> just give him back that. I love like you know the the most important part of the episode, mm-hmm. but like that he did, uh, like the difference between him and uh, Fred and uh, James, uh, who are from Earth, and so like let's say they have even though like Fred is OPI right, he is trying to help Belters. Uh, he is still a person from Earth. So, like, they could stand here and listen to that scientist's speech. And then, like, let's say, keep a level head and, like, be like, we're gonna use you. But, like, yeah. Miller could not. Miller mm-hmm. could not. And I think that is the most human and understandable thing. Yeah. We we also found out, uh, I think I mentioned this episode, I was like, I need you to tell me exactly what happened uh, with Fred and the whole uh, station. He didn't know that they were surrendering no one told him uh and so he he did that and then afterwards i guess when he found out he then um quit (laughs) and switched his role and now he is but kept quiet that he didn't know yeah yeah because which um, is even that's interesting i think it says a lot about his character character. i feel like he may might, might also maybe want to be blamed for it because he did do it. Like, even though, let's say, it wasn't his intention to kill those people. I mean, it was. Yeah, no, yeah, it yeah. Was but, like, he didn't know, he didn't know these people, like, stood yeah. down and everything. Yeah. And he yeah. didn't know that they posed no threat yeah. anymore. Yeah. I feel like he might be... Or at least, I like, again, I, I feel like I project sometimes, like, what are my emotions would be about that. But, like, um, he might feel guilt well, over that. And definitely. So, like, I mean, he killed people uh, who... Guilt, of, uh, obviously, obviously. Yeah, yeah. I, but I just feel like he might not have wanted to say anything because he wants to... People who yeah, hate him. Yeah, I feel like maybe he yeah. just wants people to hate him because he possibly hates himself for yeah, it. Yeah, and I think everything yeah. he's doing now is, like, trying to make up for yeah. that. Yeah. You can see that, like, he doesn't... He doesn't, like, let's say, sacrificing human life. He did throw that one guy. And, and that guy kind of was dangerous, in my mind, like, with his idea and his, like... Definitely. ...want of um, violence. It, it kind of made sense to me that he would do that to him. And Honestly, I, this show is very hard for me mm-hmm. to watch because everybody's just killing people. Yeah, I know. I know. Everybody's just shooting people. Everybody's just destroying people off the ships. That's very hard for me even though i understand completely yeah. but it's somehow sometimes hard to sympathize uh even when you have the even reasons. you have the reasonings even when you understand the reason mm-hmm. but then again but again you kill people you know mm-hmm. and you're constantly doing it mm-hmm. and this guy even though i understand why he threw that guy and uh when you think about it, that guy was dangerous that uh, things he was saying were dangerous he could have got to people, you know? He threw him off and then told them the what is actually happening, what actually happened in Eros and that he uh, he needs help, you know? Yeah, he needs volunteers. Yeah, and of course, I expected people to volunteer for that, to yeah. fight for Belters, I mean. He said something on the lines of like, how he doesn't like to, you know, send people to their deaths, basically. And then this woman said, you know, all of us here are volunteers. And he was like, you know, that's the trick to make them think that they want to do this, you yeah. know, because like, even though it's not your intention to go and like send them to their deaths, you know, that people are going to die. And like, yeah. you know, that by you, even with, if you are telling them it's the right thing to do, because it is like you, you're going to get some answers. You're going to try to achieve but something again, some good. People you're going to die. You're going to die, you know, and you, and, uh, you and you are aware of that, that yeah. and you, and you pump them up. Yeah. You know, yeah. for them to give their life up for a greater cause, yeah. but like you still are kind of, you know, it's a it's a, it's a very sticky situation I think there. That's, but that, I, I really I like that, that part. Me too. Mm. I love I love when he said that yeah. because will, he is mm. aware. Yeah, I love I love that we doing. got more information here about Fred. Yeah. Uh, because it's like I think yeah, because I think I said like I 
would really like him, but like that whole Anderson thing where I thought like he shot at the civilian ship even though they were well, surrendering. I always thought was there just, was something oh, behind yeah, yeah. that. Because well, like, me too, but I was like, until, heard, you, bro, until you fucking tell me, we heard I can't only guess. one side of the story. So first I was like, either it's that he had to do it yeah. for some reason. Yeah. Or this. I just, I just really like that we got that as well. Now, now we can continue with Fred, and I, and I'm, I'm the very queen curious about found his character. Out also about Fred, and now yeah. she wants to talk to him, right? Oh my god, I love that. Now they Honestly, could fucking can't fucking wait. get, like, like start playing together Honestly, because the queen is fucking gonna I, help I, you. This episode really was, really was amazing. Was Honestly, really good. Oh, we wait. also found something about uh, Naomi. Like she said, yeah. like when she was younger, she ran with the bad I mean, crowd, that the guy people sense. killed. It yeah. made, it made sense, uh, especially when they were all uh, accusing her of being yeah. OPA, she never said she wasn't. Yeah. Because I guess there was maybe something. Well, she was running with exactly. that crowd, let's say, so and like, then people got so the, killed. Like, so when that was happening, we were constantly like, is she, is yeah. she? Because like, whenever somebody asked her, she was like, you have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. Like she wasn't like, uh, of course not, you know? So that's interesting. Yeah, I'm glad yeah. we find, found out something more. Yeah. I think she's a baby girl. And she is she completely is. Honestly, I can't wait girl. for Amos to find out if her and Jay's so are together. Honestly, funny. I have no idea how he's going to react. I, I expect good. Uh, That's going to be so but funny. But it's going to be so... I expect a funny scene from that, honestly. It's Especially true. because it was, it, said it, it was said in this episode, Jay was like, uh... Uh, I want to <laughs> get my ass kicked, basically. No, but, like, what did he say? Like, I once to ask him if you were a couple, and he said, I'm going to throw you off this hill. <laughs> yeah. like, uh, well, no. uh, I could, I, I would could throw, throw you <laughs> off if Naomi said so. <laughs> no, but, like, I know, my, I know my Naomi wouldn't approve, so, yeah, like, yeah. I can't. But, like, I yeah. would. Yeah. I thought that was hilarious. Yeah. Um, I mean, I remember I, that scene. <laughs> Naomi said that, like, they're, like, he, he is, like, a brother to her, yeah. and that they're... They had that history in their clothes, and I, I love that. I like love I wanna, I, I wanna know more about it. I love how like very protective, uh, how very protective Amos is of Naomi. I think she's protective of him as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a different way, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and they're, they are different people. Exactly, but well, like, like I don't think Naomi is gonna just had, shoot a person. Yeah, you know? exactly. But then whenever somebody has a bad opinion of yeah, Amos, yeah. she's doing everything to explain yeah. his behavior. persona to him, yeah. behavior, whatever. Yeah. So like I think she's protecting him as well, yeah. and I think that's really cute. I really do I really like their love their relationships. They're probably one of my favorite relationships oh, so definitely, far definitely, in the show. Definitely, yeah, and definitely. I think it's very like what she said in the previous episodes. Like she says, whatever guiding but North Star or cute. whatever. I I love that. Yeah, that's good. Honestly, yeah. I love even more that they're not a couple in the show. Yeah, I also just I love good platonic yeah, yeah, yeah. relationships. Yeah. I love if we have that with them. I. Uh, I don't think I'm pretty confident this is never gonna be like a love triangle thing. Uh, I'm uh, and, for I, because a second, I fucking well, hate that. for a second with the, when James yeah. started talking, I was like, please don't do that. Please don't let this be that because yeah. I will fucking hate it because I just enjoy uh, this type of relationship that yeah. Naomi and Amos have. I think it's perfect yeah. the way it is, and I would hate if it went romantic. I just don't feel that type of connection between them just so. don't give me any love tri- I don't want them you do not understand how much I hate love triangles uh, let's keep Naomi and Amos's relationship the way it is because it's gonna be my favorite thing I just I just want to know more I okay, love them guys, together this was an amazing yeah, episode I love honestly episode. can't wait to see what's gonna happen next yeah. thank you so much for watching bye. we'll see you soon bye